Welcome to the Agile Project Management Practitioner course. In this module, we'll be looking to give you a course introduction. Throughout the practitioner course, we'll be looking to give delegates an understanding of the philosophy and principles and how they can be applied to a project situation. We'll be looking to give guidance on how to configure the life cycle to a given situation. We'll be looking to provide information on the content of the Agile products and how they might be used in different types of projects. We'll be looking at how to apply the Agile techniques of facilitated workshops, Moscow prioritisation, iterative development, modelling and time boxing. We'll also be looking at how and when to use those techniques to get the best out of them. We'll be looking at the roles and responsibilities within an Agile project and understanding how to appoint the most appropriate people and how each of those roles interact with each other. We'll also be looking further at the different mechanisms of the control that we have within an Agile project. We'll be looking at how we can provide estimates and how we can measure progress. And we'll be looking further at the approach to managing requirements and putting realistic requirements and user stories together. The topics that we'll be looking to cover throughout the practitioner course. We'll be looking further at the roles and responsibilities, particularly from the project manager's view. We'll be looking at agile project management throughout the life cycle. We'll look at the effective use of the products. We'll also look at delivering on time, so combining Moscow prioritization and time boxing techniques together. We'll be looking at the people on the project, the teams and how they interact. We'll be looking at the different ways that requirements are put together and how to put good user stories together. We'll be looking at how estimating and estimates are put together throughout the life cycle. Along with that, we'll be looking at how a project is planned throughout the life cycle at the different stages. We'll be looking at quality and how quality is understood and how quality is undertaken throughout the life cycle. We'll be looking at risk management and we'll be looking at how we can tailor the approach appropriately to different types, styles and complexity of projects. We've now come to the end of this module. 